Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Well, while today's map is... It's my first map. That's right. It is actually a re rebuild, a rehash of an existing map on the workshop. A map by a creator you've almost certainly heard of. A creator who's well known not just for their maps, but for offering technical and personal support to any creator. And that includes this channel. Uh, that creator is Mr. Miyagi. And... The creator of today's map has taken an existing map by Mr. Miyagi and made it hillier and done some other jobs to it as well. But most importantly, has added hills, which makes the map very different indeed. And I think we should all really get behind that sort of thing, don't you? Well, that's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is a Dream Bay vanilla map by Impostar. Okay, Impostar, uh, really proof of what you've attempted to do here. It's uh, not entirely to my taste, but it's actually still a very valiant job. There's your start square, pretty solid intersection going on there. And uh, then the terrain heights, where the map was fairly flat before, we have some proper solid hills going on. The resources is mostly about um, a little bit of fertile and forestry, but there's a bit of ore here and there as well. And then if you have Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, it's not really a fishing map, but you can get out there and do something. You have some fun. Okay, off to the workshop. What do we need? Well, of course, it is a 100% vanilla map, so you won't actually need anything. Uh, while it does say in the description that uh, there's a Boreal theme in place, the actual automatically loaded theme is the Springwood theme, which is an excellent theme. Uh, somebody who's used Springwood myself in St. Catherine's Point as the base theme. Really, really excellent theme. And of course, we'll be using the realistic 1.2 LUT. But in terms of assets, you don't need to subscribe to anything. The one thing I will point out is for, a little bit of um, tree clipping through the underside of the highway. I was going to show you that, but it's no, there's no point in going under the highway to show you the, um, the rest of the tree. Now, don't put trees under the highways if you can help it. Little ones maybe, like we've got a few dotted under here. Yeah, they, they really would like to have some sunlight. That's uh, trees for you. They do like the sunlight. Where were we? Ah, oh, yes. So, um, so uh, be because we are uh, automatically loaded in the Springwood theme, uh, because I already have it subscribed, technically speaking, this map should load up with a vanilla theme. I'm guessing the vanilla Boreal theme which isn't as pretty as Springwood. And so when I get to the um, the ratings at the end of the show, I've got to say I'm going to have to mark it down a little bit on my overall impression based on what I'm assuming would be a slightly, slightly more dismal looking map because of the theme. As simple as that. Uh, if you... you with a vanilla map, I'm more than happy for people to include a theme and a LUT because, well, while they're not strictly vanilla, it's 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 a, I mean, it's a little nod, isn't it? It's a little nod. And there is a theme in the Latin vanilla anyways. So it's not like you're, you're adding tons and tons of extra assets to them. You can include the theme in the LUT and I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, what we've got here, though, we've got a little bit of elevated at ground level cutting into the environment, causing a bit of a janky cutting there. Um, just a little brush of the smoothing tool there would clean that up nicely. Really nice looking bridge there, vanilla bridge through and through, uh, and, and good solid work. Uh, and again, we've got a little bit of elevated at ground level causing a little bit of pi uh, uh, pixelization along the edge there as well. That could be just cleaned up with oh, literally one tap of the smoothing tool. Yeah, the uh, I, now the thing is, because I've not actually reviewed Mr. Miyagi's original South Korean style map, I don't know how much of this is Mr. Miyagi's original work and how much is that of Impostar. Having said that, I have to mark it all as Impostar because, well, if there was anything which was Mr. Miyagi's work and was maybe possibly a little bit substandard, you've had a chance to fix it. Like here, these tunnel entrances here, 
They're a bit glitchy. They're a little bit glitchy into the side. Again, is it a problem? Not really a problem. It's a vanilla style game and most people that play vanilla aren't gonna worry too much about that. Could be more polished. Was that a Mr. Miyagi? Or was that an Impostar? Well, Impostar has a chance. Having loaded up the map and done some fixes, I air quote fixes there, well, they've had the opportunity to uh, fix those tunnels. It should start square intersection. Gotta say, I really do like this. Um, just got a really nice, uh, nice aesthetic vibe to it. Nice and low as well. And uh, allow all the traffic to go straight through the middle of your city. Very neat. And uh, now heading on out towards the other side of the map. We do have an extra highway coming in at the moment on the left hand side. We could take that route. It's slightly less interesting than going straight on. Uh, not saying straight on is very exciting, but I promise you that that route, nice intersection by the way, very nice intersection. It's the main intersection because it's the only one. If we come this way, we'll be nipping through a couple of tunnels and um, we'll get to view some of the mount some of the hills and mountains and uh, some of the tree placement as well. Now we don't have any trees on the road, so a couple that are clipping through the underside of elevated sections, but nothing really bad. We have seen many, many of those just recently. Uh, but uh, yeah, so nothing like here's another tree just on the underside there, just clipping through there. Nothing that the bulldozer won't fix. Uh, make sure you click the tree and not the highway. <laughs> well, hey, it's, you can build, you can move the highway if you want to move the highway. Don't let me tell you what to do. You do what you want to do. Personally, I would just, I, I'd grab the move it mod. Vanilla, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Allow me a little bit of uh, luxury. Uh, one or two mods if I'm playing vanilla. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, over to the rail. Now, the rail, I hate to say, is a little bit um, lower on standards than the highways. Cutting here looks fine. I can, I can go with the cutting. Um, I think it probably could be polished a little bit, but we're right in, off in the edge of the map. Away from the 25 tiles is not going to be seen, so it doesn't really matter that much. Then we go elevated, a little, uh, little elevated. It's all nice, very cool, yep. Yeah. Then we go into a tunnel. An elevated tunnel. That is horrible. I'm sorry, there's, there's no other way of putting that one. Uh, it is horrible. Hey, listen, we've all done horrible things. Um, and <laughs> on these days, I, like we've got a floating tree in the uh, tunnel entrance over here as well. I'm not sure. I think these might be outside the 25 tiles too. But if they are, if they are, they matter less. But I mean, even so, even so, that tunnel entrance wasn't very pretty at all. I think, yeah, one of these days I'm going to have to um, get together my, uh, <laughs> do a show on, on the things that I've made in previous maps that are horrible. Just to show that, you know, even, even the great <coughs> Bomb Bomb B don't do pretty things all the time. And uh, I can promise you, I don't. There are a few things I'm very proud of. A few things I'm very, very proud of. But, uh, yeah, there's one or two things I look back on Merrick's though and go, oh... Ooh, and all that, yeah. <laughs> We've all done it. Uh, where this rail ends, I, I don't understand what is going on here at this tail end of the rail, but we've got rail. That's all that matters. And we've got an intermission. Don't be shy, because I, I think you're beautiful and I won't let you forget it. Don't be late. But I'll wait And life won't bring you down too far Cause I just won't let it oh, I'm feeling all iridescent now because of that commercial. <laughs> yeah, join me over on Patreon or even... Oh, the yeah, shipping route, sorry. Yeah, a little right angle turn going on there. Yeah, Patreon or click the join button and uh, join up with all the extra bonuses that you get from being a bomb bomb buddy. There are plenty of them. Whichever route you take, there are all sorts of special bonuses. Anyway, let's have a look here. Shipping route here, we get a little bit of a real sharp angle going on there. If you want to get a harbour over that way, you could have sharp turning ships there. And we have another real sharp one here that goes right off the edge of the map over there. Any ships coming in from the edge, wanting to go this way, we'll have to take a real sharp turn back this way and then we've got another one here 
which means that any ship wanting to go from point A to point B on the edge of the map there is going to do two real sharp turns very early on. But we've got access to all the harbour areas down here, very nice. Water flow is not a problem, although there's not a great deal of water flow going on. We have access to water on this side of the start square and also within the start square access to this water too. So you draw from one, you pump into the other, and while you probably have a lot of poop water in one or the other side, it's not actually going to pollute your water source, so that's that's okay. Right, the map as a whole. I kind of like this map, you know. I kind of like it. The the hills, uh, I think the hills add a third... I've had a quick glance at the previous map, um, the screenshots. The hills add an extra dimension. They are very knobbly. They are very knobbly. Don't mind the tree placements. Uh, the tree placement's okay. I, I, it doesn't excite me as much as it could, but it's actually taking. It's actually a nod to some good standards with the tree placements. So I think there's credit to be given. I just don't. Uh, uh, the essential lighthouse. Ah, oh, isn't she lovely? Being used as a beacon. There's one on the opposite side, so the ships know to go through the, between the two. But yes, the, the tree. The trees are. The trees are fine. Uh, we've got good density going on. But so, some of these hills, though, I've got to say, a bit bobbler. This this is a really round hill. It doesn't feel natural at all. And the way the trees are on the edge of it, because of the, uh, the steep cliff slope, I don't really buy into that one. There are some, though, I mean, where you can actually have trees on cliff, in, on cliff slopes, and it actually can look very natural, like uh, over here. We've got a real good tree coverage on that uh, cliff slope there. And that looks okay. Whereas this one over here, it's partly cleared. But we've got trees coming down from the top and very few at the bottom. And what I feel with, with cliff slopes is you get rubble coming down from the top. Meaning that, and also you get the water at the bottom. So I feel that there should be more foliage at the bottom of a cliff than there is at the top. And if there's anything hanging on to the cliff... It should be hanging on near the bottom where there's actually more of a foothold than what is slipping away at the top. So that's my opinion. So I'd be inclined, if it, if it were me, if it were me, and at this very second it is me. This very, very second. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm just using Move It, which isn't vanilla, but there we go. Uh, I'm just using Move It to shift a few of these trees from the top of the slope down to the bottom of the slope. So we get more density along the bottom. And again, this isn't a uh, perfect job. This is just a very quick job for the sake of the show. I'm going to move these uh, down there. So we get, yeah, we'll have a more depth at the bottom of the hill and um, and where there are trees climbing into the uh, into the cliff, they are doing it from the bottom up rather than from the top down. Um, but yeah, there's nothing to stop you from having trees on cliffs if you've got good density. And I feel that that was what would happen when the trees would actually grab hold of the other tree's roots and... It's just when you get one on its own, it can look a, it can just look a little bit weird. I know you do get single trees on cliffs, but uh, it can just look a little bit weird, um, in my opinion. Within the game, anyway, because we don't actually have roots. <laughs> They're just plopped. Plopped props, basically, aren't they? Anyway, uh, we have got um, just a really lovely buildable area in the middle of the map. And we have a start square. Start square is a little bit small in buildable space, I feel, but even so, I still think it's gonna be good for a good game. And down here, we also have, uh, speaking of a good game, some non-vanilla trees. There we go, this is what non-vanilla trees should look like. Uh, it's the Weeping Silver Birch 2 by Mr. Mason, who's done a Weeping Silver Birch 1 as well. So you can have two different varieties of Weeping Silver Birches along your um, along your riverbanks. Would look amazing because, well, it's Mr. Mason, isn't it? And factoids, because factoids. What have we got today? Okay, this again dates the book. The Burmese, <laughs> the Burmese, the Myanmarians, I guess they are. Are they Myanmarians or the Myanmars? Anyway, um, are fond of watching fish fight and sometimes gamble on the outcome. Yeah, I've heard of cockfighting. I've heard of um, dog fighting, um, even people fighting. But uh, yeah, fish fighting. Why not? Why not? Um, anyway, uh, the Weeping Silver Birch 2 by Mr. Mason. Great asset of the day. Thanks, Mr. Mason. Thanks a lot. 
And so back to the map as a whole, uh, Dream Bay Vanilla Map by Impostar. What do you think of it? Is it a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Click the I button now in the top right hand corner of your screen. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, do you know what I quite Oh, I'm, I'm not saying quite like it. I'm okay with this. So, I don't, I, I, it doesn't really massively grab me. But I think the overall design is fine. Um, it's quite pleasing. But of course, we are using a custom theme. And technically, because there's nothing to subscribe to, we should be looking at a vanilla theme. So, where I was going to go for a medium three to a medium high three, I'm going to go for a medium low three. Detail. It's okay, uh, there's no massive sins, so we're not going to drop into two stars, but I think there's quite a few little things that could be done just to bring it up to scratch. So I'm going to go, again, a medium low three. Gameplay potential. I think probably a once through play, probably a very enjoyable once through play. Don't know if I'd come back for seconds, so I'm going to go down the middle with uh, three stars because it's not going to let you down, you probably have fun. A Dream Bay Vanilla Map by Impostar is a very solid map um, based on Mr Miyagi's work so it's going to have playability built into it and um, and the hills just add a little extra dimension so uh, credit there. Uh, knobbly hills. Why not? Hey listen, isn't it? All sorts of hills. Anyway, uh, this, uh, this map was absolutely, use the word of the day into the comments, just <laughs> For 100 population points just for fun to prove you are part of the 20 and out elite. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. Have a great day and I'll see you very, very soon.